Hi, this is Jeff at Portworks. Today's demo really elevates Portworks to a level that no one else can touch in this realm of data services for containers. Granted, there are a couple solutions that make it easy to consume Amazon EBS or legacy storage by containers through the Volume Driver plugin, but in all of these cases, the degree of data availability is restricted and constrained. For example, you might use a Flocker or Rexray plugin for Amazon EBS, but if your Amazon availability zone or Amazon itself suffers an outage, then you are hosed, technically speaking, until now. What you really need is a data availability story that is so durable it can withstand any failure of any availability zone or failure of any cloud provider, and that's what I'm going to show you now. In this demo, I've got three servers running in Amazon AWS and two servers in Microsoft Azure. To help with providing a seamless, secure IPsec gateway between the two clouds, I'm using Aviatrix, which provides an end-to-end -end encrypted secure intercloud networking, allowing direct VPN access between virtual private clouds. Here I've deployed the controller in AWS and then created one gateway for each of the two clouds that I'm spanning. And then with two different clouds joined together like this, Portworks then creates a single data fabric that seamlessly spans both clouds, providing a level of data availability that is simply unmatched. So let's dive in. First here, we're looking at the Aviatrix controller. And from the dashboard, you can see both the EC2 and Azure clouds visualized. Next, you can see the two gateways with the 10.3 subnet running in Azure. And here you can see the Aviatrix gateway itself, as well as the two servers in Azure, and the 10.1 subnet running in EC2. And here from the EC2 console, you can see the Aviatrix controller and gateway and the three servers we have in EC2. Now to keep things focused, I've gone ahead and done some staging. Here you're looking at a three node Portworks cluster running in Amazon AWS. MySQL is up using Portworks, and we have 2 million rows of customer data loaded, totaling almost a billion dollars. Then you can see two new nodes, AZ1 and AZ2, come up in the Azure cluster from the Portworks Lighthouse console. And now we do some disaster simulation. From the EC2 console, we forcefully terminate the EC2 node that was running the MySQL application. And here from Lighthouse, you can see the EC2 node in a down state. And back in our terminal session, you can see that the session has been closed. Here from the Portworx CLI, you can see the status of the five node cluster spanning two clouds with a one node offline. And since Portworx provides a consistent view of volumes from every node in the cluster, we can see the MySQL volume from the node running in Azure. Now watch this. I start up MySQL on a node in the Azure cloud and all my data is there and available exactly as it was at the time of the EC node termination. And that is the kind of data availability you cannot find with any other data service, period. We'd love to prove it to you in your own environment with your own data. So please reach out to us and let us show you. Thanks for watching.